Welcome back, Smurf man. I'm ready too. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, guys. 14 March 2023. Change of plans today. Uh, we are gonna have two streams. We're starting earlier than I supposed to. Uh, the plan was 10:30 a.m. Central Time. Um, the starting of the Football Manager stream, and then um, that's it for today. But today we're gonna bet too, guys. We're gonna have uh, day six of our betting league. I hope you can tune in and uh, watch us bet. Um, today, Champions League games and some championship good uh, good games today. So that's why I decided to um, <clears throat> to not skip today. Best Murph, I hope you you having a great day so far. Uh, later, 
we're gonna be ready guys we're gonna be ready for you with tons tons of uh bets pixel probably is gonna join too schmilios is uh, doing his um his shooting stream i have it live here i'm helping him with uh with <laughs> my channel i'm viewing his uh his stream also so yeah um about the manager so we are ready guys today to start uh, the new season but we have some uh, deals and updates to um to show you we finished top 10 guys unbelievable end of last season uh, when we thought we we're gonna relegate we finished top 10 in the last game um we won away at uh, nancy a beautiful beautiful uh, win 5-2 and then um uh the the table league table it, then the points kind of worked out in our favor and we finished up 10 so for the first uh, for the first season i think uh, we did good i think we uh achieved um i guess the impossible with the roster that we had um we have good news today and bad news so let's start let's not waste more time it's 9 47 uh, a.m central time so I'm planning to stream till uh, 12 or 12.30. And then I have to go work out because I didn't work out this morning. So we're going to come back uh, with the betting stream at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. So yeah, let's roll. Oh yeah, Bessmer, if you had training today. Nice, nice. But yeah, take it slow, man. Yeah, you don't need to get injured. Take it slow, bro. All right, so the schedule. Let me show you how we ended last season with um, two nothing win against Strasbourg. Uh, FM Lion and, and Walter Perez scored uh, the two goals, and then in the last game we had a beautiful, beautiful uh, win. Like I said, five two away. FM Lion scored another hat trick and pixel also um scored let me see here actually fm lamb scored four goals yeah four goals yeah i forgot i think i update you guys on, on uh, discord <laughs> yeah four goals for fm lion but as you already know nancy was already relegated so i was not uh, celebrating too much but i celebrated the end of um uh, the season in our league standing uh yeah let me see here stages yeah stages and let's go to last season so we'll finish 10th guys uh not bad not bad keep keep it in mind that we had so many young players 18 19 uh 20 years old like very 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 young players guys yeah the the good news the good news is that we signed some uh borderline wonder kids for the next season we have some good deals for free also players quality players for free for next season but the bad news guys is that we're gonna lose schmilios and bad smurf i think um i tried to sign i tried to sign uh bad smurf and schmilios but they uh they didn't agree they didn't agree with the salary and um also the loans didn't work because uh your clubs lillestrom and uh Schmilio's club is valerenga i think yeah they uh, didn't agree they wanted you guys to play for their club they uh they're gonna give you a chance in the first team so yeah um i think i think i'm gonna try one more time in case we have a little more money but uh other other you know other ways for me to bring you back to the club are kind of impossible so yeah um we we don't have a central defender like a good central defender right now i will show you who we signed and who is gonna join okay uh maybe next season or maybe in the winter transfer window when we're gonna have money i'm gonna try to buy you guys again because you are wonder kids you're gonna grow so you are on my list but yeah, the, the, because of the financial situation, we are in this, uh, in this, um, I don't know, uh, in this trouble right now. Be, you know, Schmilios and you 
best smurf you are starters for me but because uh, we don't have enough money we had to move things around as you can see we're gonna play with pixel as a as a forward because if best smurf left the club i have to play on the right wing uh we don't have a central defender so cow is the new left back that we we bought he's gonna he's gonna play as a central defender guys he can do all three this all uh central defender uh left back and right back roles he's natural as a left back but because we don't have bodies right now uh, we're gonna have to force him to play central defender so yeah this is not easy <laughs> we're gonna have to fix this problem and now let's uh let's uh let me update you with the new new additions so we bought guys herman as you already know his full name is jens herman Farnes gabrielsen wonder kid guys from stabike two million two million and it can go to 4.2 million inside forward unbelievable player 19 years old already 123 uh 123 current potential very 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 promising player uh, he joined he, j he just joined like a few days ago uh yesterday when i uh say before i saved the game uh he just uh joined the club he's gonna be our starter inside forward on the left milios thank you man thank you for lurking <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I'll do the same to your stream. So, thank you, man. Enjoy your game. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we gave him a face. This is going to be our, like I said, our starter on the left. As an inside forward. Future superstar. This guy. Hopefully, he's going to help us. And he's going to uh, score a lot of goals. Let's, uh, let's meet uh, now Daniel Mehic. We were hunting this guy for so long. In the end... We finalized the deal right before last season ended. And Daniel Mehic uh, joined us. Uh, he's going to be our new shadow striker because um, uh, Dumisani Daniels uh, went back to his uh, his club in uh, in Germany, Fortuna Dusseldorf. We didn't have enough money to, to buy him. Also, Piedra Hita left. We didn't have also money to buy him. Uh, so, yeah, uh, those were loans for one season. The only loan for two seasons is Pixel, who has one more year with us. That's why uh, he is still in the squad. So Daniel Mehic is a very, very promising player. Also, look at the potential. Four stars. He can go to five stars. 19 years old from Bar uh, Brandbergen, guys. From Brandbergen, we paid last season two million. Uh, with clauses, I think he can go... Let's see. It can go to 3.6 million. What song is this? God. Alright. This is a weird playlist. Alright, so... As I said, Daniel Mehic will be our new Shadow Striker. Future, future Wonder Kid. Maybe now he's not yet a Wonder Kid, but in the future, definitely he will be uh world-class player as you can see guys we're improving the squad very very much we are improving the squad drastically uh just one second the sound is there you go uh Vesmerf, how is the sound is it uh is it okay everything is good Milios TV. Nice. Thank you, Bessmurf. All right. So, Daniel Mehic, 15 technique, 16 passing, 14 long shots, 11 finishing as a shadow striker, 191 CM, 19 years old, guys. So, this guy is another tall dude. Strong, strong, strong player. We have Hotling, who is very strong and tall. We have Perez, who is huge so yeah i'm not complaining on that department so we're gonna try to give some playing time to eric and zaba even though right now he's uh 
His attributes are horrible, but look at the age, 15 years old. He can definitely, definitely grow. And uh, this is, I'm not concerned about these arrows. Like, they're going to go down, they're going to go up. In the end, uh, he will become uh, a very, very good left back, guys. Huge potential for this guy. Huge, huge potential. Also for Chalo, potential. But last season, he struggled. We tried to sell him. He didn't uh, get any offers. So right now, um, yeah, we're going to have to keep him at the club. Benjamin Favreau, one of our um, other, like, uh, is the second uh, youth intake wonder kid. Or maybe maybe not wonder kid, I don't know. But he, he looks very good, 16 years old. He will be uh, inside forward. He will, he's going to get playing time. I promise you this guy is going to get playing time. Uh, especially because we lost um, Paye. Paye, we sold him to Empoli for 2.2 million. And uh, these two kids are going to get playing time. All right, let's go to transfers because we have other players that are going to join. Uh, three, three of them are going to join because... No, four, guys. Four free deals. Like, we didn't pay anything, just salary. So, Peter Brown... Central defender from Australia. He is also English. Eight caps for the Australian national team. 23 years old. Very, very tall central defender. 6'5". This is how tall he is. 200 centimeters CM. Um, the stats are looking good. And uh, um, when we signed him, guys, the scouts were keep pushing this guy to me like oh this guy this uh, this deal is impressive sign him blah blah uh, priority signing so we did we sign him hopefully uh, he will replace Schmilios also the same the same type of player left footed central defender close to Schmilios uh, skills let's hope he will do the job um, as you already know Alexander Shadrin as a backup striker is gonna join he, uh, we signed him uh, also for for uh, for free. We just offer him a contract, decent decent uh, potential and decent player for league. Uh, not great, but we need a body, so why not? Ukrainian, 24 years old. Um, we have hmm, signed Joshua Aliu, guys, from Alborg. Is it Alborg? No, it's Orhus from Denmark. Sorry, guys, it's Orhus. For free, he's going to join in July. Joshua Aliu, 26 years old, Nigerian international. Very, very, very good player. As you can see here, 15 technique, 16 passing, 13 first touch, 16 vision, 16 determination, 16 decision, 16 composure, 15 balance, 14 pace, 13 acceleration, 13 strength, 134 current ability. So... They will both, uh, him and Ngezana, guys, are going to be our starters in the middle. 181 CM, so he's not short. Um, Hatling is going to be the backup for Aliu. I'm planning to uh, play Aliu as a Metzala. Ngezana is going to keep his spot here. And uh, uh, backup for Ngezana is going to be Walter Perez. So, yeah, we're we're set in the middle. And we have one more player that is going to join. Uh, his name is Salvador from Villarreal, guys. Another, another uh, very, very good player for free. Uh, 130 current ability. Spanish from Villarreal. Uh, Spanish player from Villarreal. 14 technique, 12 tackling, 14 passing, 12 marking, 15 first touch, 15 vision this is what i like uh for midfielders the vision decisions 17 bravery 17 composure 13 anticipation 14 uh 18 natural fitness so this guy is not gonna get injured too too much because he's very strong 14 balance 13 agility very very good player 24 years old it's a bargain it's a steal guys he can play central defender too so this is uh, what I'm thinking, guys. To play him as a central defender, ball-playing defender. That's why I signed him. 
he's short but i'm thinking that this guy is gonna be our martinez from manchester united he's very short but he's very good so i think we're gonna play with the australian guy as a starter and this guy salvador is gonna be um his pair um in the defense defensive department like lisandro martinez kind of the same player only Lis lisandro martinez of course is a, a lot better with tackling and marking but we're trying to kind of do the same thing here yeah um that's it these are the deals that we're working with right now 28 june 2033 let's press continue and let's uh, welcome them they are going to join in uh three days or four days no three days yeah three days and we have players leaving daniels piedrahita schmilios and betsmurf are gonna leave the club uh we will continually uh, con continuously try to sign uh schmilios and Bet betsmurf um let's see the finances now so we will spend uh we will spend way over our payroll wow committed to spend 25 million damn we have 11 million in the bank so right now the first thing that, that i'm gonna do when uh, we'll have some funds available is to try to sign basmurf and schmilios which are great deals and for the future of the club is gonna be perfect because they're gonna grow and all our players are gonna be young and uh, with very very high potential let's welcome Herman is a quality player, fantastic player, utmost confidence, exciting. I hope you guys enjoy uh, this save, this uh, Bordeaux career save. I'm start it's starting to grow on me. I'm starting to really like um, what uh, we're doing here, what we're building here. For the summer, we chose... Um, some hard hard friendlies as you can see here we need the tactic to get uh, to get familiar with the players very very fast so to do that we have to play tough games we, we chose benfica we chose sevilla we chose dortmund and we chose ajax um, these games are gonna be, be played at manmut atlantic and uh, playing at home is gonna give us some extra funds of course uh, if the fans are gonna are gonna show up you know <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna have uh, fun. We're gonna have fun today. I'm not gonna play these games and we're not gonna watch the games. I'm gonna let my assistant take care of them. But um, it's always good to have this kind of this kind of tough games in the beginning of the season, so your team will be ready to fight when um, when the league uh, will start. We're gonna have uh, the first game in uh, the in the league against Nantes, and then uh, at home. We're gonna play Monaco, so show away Saint Etienne at home. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough, um, tough, uh, tough year for us. But right now we can look forward with a lot of uh, optimism because we have so many, so many good players, so many young kids. So, like I said, I'm, I'm planning to stream until 12.30. We have two hours and a half on the nose right now. And uh, later on, we will... Uh, we will do the betting league. It's gonna be a fun day. I hope you can all join. A second guys yeah so we need pixel which is with his uh picks for today and uh we're gonna be okay everybody else posted their picks that's good Thank you, Bessmurf. 
Yeah, man. It's gonna be a fun day today. So how is your uh, your brand save going? Um, are you uh, still searching for new players for the new season? I'm curious what uh, what situation we're gonna have uh, in our finances when every deal is gonna come in and all the players will leave. Um, only that time we're gonna be able to uh, to figure out if we can buy or we can if we can move in the transfer market. Yeah, that's good. Yes, yeah, try to uh, try to uh, play some friendlies, you know. So your players will uh, will get ready. Mm. We can sell some clauses here, from what I'm seeing. I know it's not a lot of money, but it's something. Why I can sell it? Okay, I did. I think yeah, we did this one. This is the only one that we can do. Okay, whatever. Ninety-five k. <laughs> Oh, not even that. 11, 11,000. <laughs> nice. I'm curious if uh, Jules Petrosian is going to be... Um available <laughs> Joe Petrosian job is gonna be available guys because now the 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 first July is uh is near so in Romania in first July uh, the new season kicks in I'm curious if the Romanian first league is gonna be back on if it's gonna be back on guys I'm gonna go back to Gio I'm gonna go back to Gio I'm gonna try so hard <laughs> to get the job back. Man, the graphics are so uh, so cool in Shmilios, uh in Shmilios game. Yeah, you can get really, really hooked on these games. Yeah, we're very close guys. First July. I'm curious how we are gonna play with our new signings. But we need definitely we need to improve from last season. So if we finish top ten last season, this season I want top six. We want Europe guys. Do you think we can do Europe this season? It's gonna be very, very hard. <laughs> very, very hard. We are very close. I hope we can start the season today. I hope we can at least play one game. 
but maybe maybe I'm just gonna play one friendly so we can see, so, so I'll see how the the players are moving you know the new additions and then uh, the other the other friendlies I'm gonna leave it uh, for uh, the assistant coach to attend it so we can um, move faster through the days For example, in 10 days we are going to play Benfica and uh, our new players are going to join in one day. So yeah, let's play Benfica and see how we all click. Yeah. We're saying goodbye for now to Dumisani, Daniels, Santiago, Piedrahita, Milios and Batsmurf. Best Smurf, you will be back, man. I'm gonna try my best to, to, to get you back. See, if I try to make... See, due to the fact the offer for this player has been already accepted and withdrawn. Because when I when I offered the contract, Best Smurf, um, you asked for, for too much. Like, um, it was over a million. And uh, because our wages were so tight, I could offer you around 500. So I tried, but you kept rejecting, so then I had to cancel the deal, you know. So we're gonna keep trying, but when I tried to reloan you, uh, the club said uh, they want to give you a, a chance in a first team. So that's the problem. The same with Schmilios, they're trying to, um, to give him uh, a chance in the first team. See? Valerenga are looking to give the player a chance in the first team. We cannot make an offer. Let's try. Yeah, I will definitely, <laughs> definitely monitor you guys because I want, I want to buy you back. So that's uh, that's all the first thing I'm gonna do right now. With the money that I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to get you guys back. Because I don't want you to, to sign for other teams. It's a, it's a big chance that you guys are going to go for, you know, for higher clubs. So, end of the season, let's see, 20,000 maybe. Nope, they don't want to. They don't want to. Piedrahita also, this guy has a high potential. See, they don't want to they want to loan him but to other people other clubs not us yeah yeah i'll um i'll try my best man 525 yeah we don't have that much money no, man so yeah it is what it is we have to kind of deal with this situation the best in the best possible way we have some uh, other players from the B team uh, leaving the club. They're not good enough to stay at Bordeaux. Oh, staff set to expire. Oh, this is 2034. Okay. Yeah, so they still have one year. Matis Guillo. Yeah, this guy lacks potential. Yeah, cleaning house here. Daniels also, Dumisani Daniels, we didn't have enough money to buy him, but because we, we already signed Daniel Mehic, Daniel Mehic will be better than Dumisani Daniels overall, so, you know, we have to, we have to say goodbye to a legend, a Gilles Petrosian legend, and to a player that actually helped us a lot last season, Dumisani Daniels, great, great player. See this guy, D Dean Buzinel, not bad, from Maribor. We don't have enough money to buy him, but he's going to be a terrific signing, they say. Good. Alan Horvat, winger, 1.8 million. Not bad, this guy too. 23 years old. See, I like this kind of players. Cheap and also very good. And you can sell these players uh, later on for, for good, good money. Fabian Benitez, a good striker here. Yeah, I'm going to put him on a short list. And cheap also. We need to constantly, the player I loaned, 
I wanted to buy. I did not get him. Yeah. Same thing here, Bad Smurf. I think you run into the same situation like I did. You know. Sometimes they loan you the player, but they don't want uh, they don't want you to to buy them. They want to um, they want to use them for their next season. So it's just like you help them um, with giving him playing time. That's all. That's all they want. They wanted too much money. They did not want to loan him. They do not want to loan him to me either. Yeah, because they know he's very good. That's why they um they wanted. Like I said, they just wanted you to give him playing time, so his attributes will grow. They do this all the time. That's why I, I when I try to loan players, I always always try to give them a two year loan. But in your case and Shmilios, I could have only do one year. So at the time it was it was perfect for me because you know you remember when we took over Bordeaux, the the team was really really poor. So I you know when I when I loaned you guys, I was so happy. Even one year, you know, yes, let's do it. <laughs> but it's hard when you have to let go, you know. Hopefully we can get enough money so I can get you back. Yeah, it is. It is what it is. Because your price was 5 million. And uh, Shmilios is four point something, so that's no way we can have uh, this this amount of money. Uh, as you can see, we're struggling. <laughs> so I tried to loan; it didn't work out. I tried to buy. I uh, I tried to buy you. I offered two point five million and fifty percent future fee. They agreed, but you asked for too much. That was the problem. Because I moved all the funds, all the wages into the transfer. So I can get you, but you asked for too much. So I had to... You know, I had to cancel the deal. <laughs> yeah, we will find other players, but I still, I'm still not going to give up on you and Shmilios. I really... I really like the, the your attributes. Uh, both of you guys are gonna grow a lot in the future, so I really want I want I want you uh, I want to get you back. And also, when Pixel's deal is gonna expire, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to get him. Yeah, I know. Because you know. Um, I could have, I could have done it for uh, one of you guys. I could have bought straight one of you, but then it means next season we don't have money to improve in other positions. So you remember we had a lot of players leaving. We sold a lot of players. So if I spend all the money on one player, then like next season is going to be compromised because we need to spread the money for all positions. You know what I mean? For the next season, so that's why. Um, I had to like, you know, kind of give up on you guys for now. Yeah, long run. But you guys are on my short list. I hope you're going to play good for your own clubs. 
and then as soon as we get some money i'm gonna try to uh to seal the deals and you're gonna come back to le girondin de bordeaux good season for both of you guys you were starters for me so there's no reason why um in the future you know your clubs are not gonna let you back or uh they're not gonna accept my uh my offers and i think finishing top 10 it's a it's a it's a good achievement as a new promoted club and with a dire financial situation that we had last season man i, I think we did great in the end we came out on 10th in the league i think we did good right now we have to finish uh in for european competitions in a uh, top six this is my main target right now if you finish the top six we're gonna get some money from europe too and slowly we will improve the financial situation we'll improve the club overall yeah it was it was pretty good i mean it could have gone better but we had some bad luck too if you remember the penalties the red cards the ah uh, i don't even want to remember anymore and the, the good thing is overall the good thing is that we improved the team and we didn't we didn't sell Ngezana. This is this is I wanted to protect Ngezana so much because in the future when we're gonna sell in the future when we're gonna play in Europe also if we sell in the future we can get over 100 million for Ngezana because at the time he's gonna grow he's gonna be more famous in the game he's gonna be a world class so imagine how much money we can get for him all right so now it's first of july guys we we uh completed all deals players left players joined let's welcome the ones that joined our club as you can see uh mitkov left he um he signed for portimonez in uh, portugal Paye left to Empoli and we signed here for players. Let's uh, welcome uh, all of them. Shadrin. Let's add him as a advanced forward. Come on. Please. Send all signings to intensive French language course. This is Shadrin, guys. Backup striker. Very, very good backup for us 24 years old uh 18 caps for the under 21 ukrainian national team seven goals so he is uh, he is something i'm telling you <laughs> he will score goals <clears throat> joshua aliu starter he's gonna play in the middle with ungezana he's gonna be our new metzala awesome player Nigerian international let's see Peter Brown this guy is gonna replace Schmilios guys central defender we're gonna play ball playing defender left footed so I know he's not starting material but for now we have to stick to what we have so our defense is gonna be kind of like leaky probably this season and we have Salvador who we are gonna use exactly like Manchester United um, are using Lisandro Martinez, ball playing defender, guys, R right footed. So <laughs> let's see how many goals we're gonna allow from corners. Okay, best Murph, I'll be here, man. It's gonna be fun to uh, to see how they perform together. uh yeah so let's assign the numbers peter brown is gonna get number four salvador is gonna get number three aliu is gonna get number uh 20 hmm. 25 for now and Shadrin is gonna get number 19. 
but we're gonna change the numbers soon when we're gonna get closer to the uh the season the starting of the season we can change all numbers let's welcome all signings Wait, what? Mehic? Are you kidding me? Reject. So he's uh... <laughs> he's wanted on loan. Are you kidding me? He's he's a key player for us, idiots. <laughs> All right, let's check our financial situation, guys. So we are over oh my god we are over 4 million this is crazy we have 17 million now in the bank perfect let's uh soon we're gonna request for more money in the wages but for now we're done with the deals guys this is how we're gonna line up for the next season brown salvador aliu wow it's crazy we don't have a backup right back huh. so peter brown will be our central defender uh on the left so chalo is gonna have to play also as a right back <laughs> i have to i have to play him as a complete wing back on the right now nice oh boy Aliu and Ngezana in the middle Hatling let's do Salvador here and Brown very short very short but um very skillful ball playing defender. Hatling, Favreau, Perez, Becky, Tam. Becky, Tam can play right back too. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I like that. At least we have one backup central defender. Kao Fries can also play central defender if we really, really need him to. But definitely we need more players. Let's go to under 19s or second team. Carlos Abad. Who is this guy? Hey Dan, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. This guy. Oh, maybe we can re sign this dude. Yeah, let's try to re sign. Yep. Yeah. Try to to give him a new contract. We need bodies, so definitely a new central defender will not hurt us a lot at all, you know. Come on. Yes, perfect. He accepted. So Lacoste, let's uh, put him back in the squad.
How's your day, Dan? I hope you're well, man. We're starting the new season here with Bordeaux. And later on, we're gonna have the betting, the betting uh, stream. Let's check now, since we're 1st of July, let's check Gilles Petrosciani. Uh oh! Ho 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 So, the, my day is okay. Nice, good job then. So, uh, how is the weather? How is the weather, man? Is it better or... Still cold and um, snowy. So, the Romanian First League is back on track, guys. Wow. The Romanian League is back on track. I can go back to Giul. I can go back to Giul, guys. Let's try. Oh, man. How can I do that? How can I... Tr how can I do that? Ah... Uh... Follow. Man. No snow? That's good. Uh, like I said, my uh, my phone's webcam is not, not good, man. But yeah, you just join the stream. We're, uh, we're... We can talk like that. Then... Ah oh, man, how can I apply for the job though? Ah, if I knew uh maybe i mean the why do you want to talk on the webcam <laughs> isn't it this uh cool like uh if you join the stream oh man i don't know how to i don't know how to sign for Jules again god home man if i knew I would have stayed at Jill if I knew it just for one season. God. Available jobs. And of course, Gio is a really good team in Romania, and whoever is going to take charge, they're not going to get fired because they really. There is an easy job there. <laughs> Man. Well. As soon as that job is going to be available, I'm going to jump on it. No matter, no matter when, doesn't matter. I'm going to have to rebuild that club. They lost pretty much all their players, but still, I don't care. So every 10, every 10 seasons, now I know every 10 season that that glitch is going to happen. Yeah, Haji, Haji is the owner of uh, Faru Constanza, then. Currently, in uh, real life, they are first, and uh, 
They have a good chance to win the league this season. He's the owner and the coach also. Man. I need to find a way how to, to coach against you. Ah, uh, that sucks. Because now I can't do anything. I have to continue with uh, with Bordeaux. But that would be amazing. So we are spending 3,700,000 more than we're supposed to on our wages. But I'm following the club. I'm going to follow uh, Gilles. And then usually when um, they have the job available, they let me know. And I can de definitely apply and jump on it. Man. So yeah, every 10 seasons, this is going to happen. It's going to happen. That glitch is going to happen. So it means every 10 seasons, one season, the Romanian First League is not going to be available. So yeah. In eight days, we're gonna play Benfica at Madmut Atlantic in a friendly. need to check uh, the assistant coach uh, if he takes care of friendlies or I do I forgot uh, the settings from uh, last season man that sucks now the Gio is back on track in the Romanian first league The downside of that job is everybody left. So all the players that I worked so hard to bring at the club, they left. They have a lot of money probably, but you're going to have to start all over again.
it's good that we have some money in the bank now in the future probably in a month or two i'm gonna ask the board to cover the uh the money that we owe on the wages because we're over the wage budget So this is gonna be the starting lineup for the next season guys this is how we are gonna try to compete in Liga pixel is gonna be the starting striker okay Lacoste is back in the squad we have Casado here eleven months let's try to give him a new contract Oh, he doesn't. Okay. He doesn't want to join. I mean, he doesn't want to extend. Whatever. That's fine. We can find a new new goalie. We have him for the whole season. For the next season, so... We're okay. Joshua Aliu. Not bad. Not bad for free, guys, if you can imagine. Salvador. Very short, though. <laughs> so all the crosses, all the corners are going to be a danger. I think I'm gonna give number seven to FM Lion for the next season. He's willing to trust me again. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. What a great guy FM Lion is. Now he's willing to support me again. All right. Good to know, man. Season expectations. Okay, so finishing the relegation playoff, that didn't change. Uh, reach 10th round. And give me more money, but not a lot. So yeah, let's not over promise here. It's okay. We're still building, building and building. What do we have here? Dimitrievich. Mm, damn. 20 years old. Damn. What a player. Central back. Alexander Dimitrievich. Definitely we have to put him in the short list. Wow. Great, great player. Oh. Already Fiorentina and Atletico Madrid. God. What a player, man. Wonder kid. Oh, my 
<laughs> Let's try just to fool around, just to block, block Atletico and Fiorentina. What a player. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, we're not gonna have enough money to, to give him. For salaries, yep. <laughs> we have only 84,000. Ah. Man, we're broke. If I knew, if I knew, he's such a good player. Of course, we can compete with Fiorentina and Madrid, Atletico Madrid, of course. Yeah, we're gonna suck. Our defense is really, really bad. Brown and Salvador are then our central defenders for the next season, guys. Let's see. Uh, can Becky Tom play reasonable left foot? Okay, good, good, good. So he can play on the left side too. Actually, Becky Tom then. Starting with Salvador. Both of them are very, very short. Chalo is wanted by Olympiacos. Okay. Well, now it's too late because we can't sell. We don't have a right back, so. Back up right back. We have only Nare. Eric and Zaba. Code, on, code of conduct. Let's uh, set up this one. Miss training two weeks. Two weeks. Warning. Warning. Two weeks. Let's welcome the squad back in training. Welcome back, everyone. Great reaction. Perfect. Nobody's upset. Good, good, good. Endrick. Let's see how good Endrick is. Damn. Wow. This with Liverpool. Great player. Okay, mm, let's go to recommendation. No responsibilities. Let's see here. Okay, so I do the friendlies. Okay, good, good, good. Just one, and then we're gonna delegate the assistant. I just want to see you with uh, Benfica how we can. Um, line up and how we are moving on the field that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten backups eleven starters wow 
Ogun, who is this guy? Haidar Ogun. Oh. 22 years old. Is he French? Yes, he is. Expires in 11 months. Okay. He doesn't want to. Okay, he's transfer listed. Oh, okay. Oh, let's move him to the first squad. Because we need, desperately we need bodies. Haidar Olgun. No, in 194 he's very tall. So this guy is gonna definitely be getting some playing time. Haidar Ogun. Lacoste. Nice, nice, nice. We have uh, backups, good backups for central defenders then. This guy can play right back. 23 years old 15 tackling 13 marking composure is not good let's try him as a right back complete win back attack we need him to learn that position lacoste Ogun, Chalo. Let's try to sell Chalo now. So the preseason officially started, guys. Morten Norlund right back mm, not fast enough Come. The birds 
have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Kids across the land Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a row. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. Yeah, I will not sell this guy. Whatever. No offers. That's fine. I'm gonna use Shallow as a right back. And then deep backup is gonna be Lacoste on that position. Let's go back to uh, under 19s. Maybe we have oh, Akboton too. Yeah, whatever. Let's move this guy up too. We need bodies in the first squad. Deep line playmaker. Deep, deep um, option for that position. Let's move up more players. Goalkeeper. Gregor Gibert. 16 years old. Nah. Sebastian Boer. Oh! Right back. 17 years old. Not fast enough though. Hmm. Ludovic Due. Same stuff. 17 years old. Yeah, this guy is not good enough. Udah, 17 years old. We have central defenders, so we're good. Let's see the second squad. Carlos Abad. This guy. I mean... Deep backup. Maybe. 19 years old. Not good enough, of course. Hmm... Yeah, we have to 
give him a new contract. Yeah, and we have to move him to the first squad now. Let's see who's this guy. Maxence Lelon. No, we're good on that position. Oh, okay, no. Johnny Boadu Carlos Garcia Peru Nelson Rebola Man, they suck Yeah, that's it for now. Let's give him a number. Abad. Uh, 41. But yeah, this is the this is the team for the next season, guys. That's it no more additions we uh we need uh, a proper right back but that's gonna probably be um done in uh in the winter transfer window for now we kind of have to stick to what we have due to our financial poor financial situation but i'm 60 percent satisfied i'm 60 percent satisfied 40 percent i'm kind of disappointing so <laughs> I'm good with um, our midfielders and strikers, perfect. But the defensive department, mm, not so good. All right, a few more days and we're playing Benfica in the first friendly of the season.
Man, that job at Jill, I would jump on it in a second if it would be available. If I knew, if I knew that it's just gonna be for one year, I would have stayed. I would have vacationed or something, you know, for a whole season. If I knew it's just the glitch will only be for one season. gonna do the uh, uh, the schedule for training for the whole season as soon as the processing will be over it's gonna take me a few minutes Six July two thousand thirty three. We're starting season twelve, guys. Season twelve of this uh, of this save. Hey, we have an offer for someone for Son Saint. <laughs> for five million, I'll let him go. I'll buy that five million. There you go. Man, come on, make that job available. Yeah, I cannot apply. 
Whatever I'm trying. Раколте. Гадари. Who knows, maybe they're gonna fire that guy and I can jump on it. But they lost all the good players, man. All my work there is destroyed, so... I have to start all over again. At least I'm gonna start with a great budget. They're gonna give me some money, definitely. The club is worth 120 million right now, so... Hey, Bessmurf, welcome back, man. So the job, the Gilles job is available, Bessmurf. The Romanian first league is back on track. Yeah, it's back. Romanian League is back, but I cannot apply for Gilles. They have a coach. If they fire their coach, I'm going to jump on the job. So every 10 seasons, uh, they're going to have a glitch. Because uh, when I finished uh, season 10, they had the glitch. So now they waited one season, and now this, uh, the Romanian First League is back on. So this is what I'm thinking. Another 10 seasons, and again, they're going to have a glitch. You know what I mean? I, I will take it if it's available, but it's not available. The job is... I, I cannot apply for a job. I cannot. Uh, only if they fire their coach. So yeah, definitely when the job is available, we'll go back to Gio, guys. We're going to have to build back again that club. The only plus, like I said, the only plus is that we're going to have a decent financial situation. So yeah. Other than that, um, you know, they lost... All the wonder kids that I signed again, Gezana, we signed Gezana, Ronaldo, we signed him. Uh, Edson Jose left. I don't know uh, who who he signed with. A lot of players they sold. See if we're going to Gilles again. Let's go to transfers. Transfers. Transfer history. Let's go last season. Damn, they they sold for 93 million last season. They sold everyone. So Farber, oh my god. So they sold Farber to Grasso for Zurich for only 7.5 million. What a what a waste, man. The great Oliver Farber. Um 
Romeo la via Atletico Madrid. Crazy. Edson Jose for 36 million to Fulham. Damn. Oh my god, this guy is 151 right now. <laughs> I told you, man. This guy, look at how much he's worth right now. Between 84 million and 107 million. Edson Jose. 13 games, one goal, two assists. Wow. They sold all my wonder kids, man. Razvan Ilya signed. Our goal is signed with Sparta Prague. He's 143 right now. Jesus Christ, man. So he was a wonder kid, and I was playing him as a backup goalie, but he was actually a wonder kid. Oh my god. Manole Skoric, Fulham also for 22.5 million. Oh my god, this guy is almost 160 right now. Jeez. 33 games, 6 goals in Premier League. Damn. 70 more. <laughs> yeah, man. It sucks. All my hard work. Arsenal signed Goldburn. Are you kidding me, dude? Arsenal signed Goldburn. What a team I had on my hands, guys. What a team. Mickey Goldburn. Let's see. João Neves Lazio. <laughs> oh, boy. Charlene Gezana, Torkidsen, signed with Sparta Praga, eh, 1.1 million, Ronaldo with us. Bretveld, who is this guy? Lloyd Bretveld, ah, this is a fake guy. Yeah, man. Boltario Aekatena, Thomas Hock, Alain. Wow, so the total is 93 million. And they bought for 20 million. They bought just cheap players. Hmm. Well, like I said, we're going to continue our Bordeaux save. And um, as soon as that job is going to be available, we're going to go back to Petroshan, guys. Fingers crossed we can, uh, we can go and uh, retake the club in the right direction. Hopefully no glitches anymore for at least 10 seasons. We're gonna monitor how that uh, how that league is uh, gonna gonna do in the future. Let's see if uh, after this season they're gonna go back to not being available, because then there's no point of going back, you know. For now, let's monitor Jiul. Let's press continue here. So. Lacoste signed a new contract. We need bodies, guys. So we can, we gave this guy, uh, this 23 years old guy, a chance. We'll use him as a right back. He has to learn his new position. We need a right back, backup. So definitely we'll take advantage of his age. We can't sign anybody right now because of our financial situation. This is um, this is how we're gonna look. For the next season, we have plenty of players in our squad. We have quality, but in the back, we have to upgrade a little bit. I hope Salvador and Becky Tom are going to have good uh, good games this season. They're gonna. I hope they're going to link up good together. And uh, yeah, let's play this game against uh, Benfica. The time is 11:22, so one more hour, guys, and then uh, we have to uh, we have to end the stream. It was uh, a, was was a very slow stream today. Um, no games because it's the preseason, so pretty much uh, we just try to finalize deals, to welcome new players, to um, you know, to plan pretty much for uh, season number 12. Definitely 
not tomorrow because tomorrow there's no football manager and what's tomorrow tomorrow is thursday no it's wednesday uh yeah we're gonna come back friday with football manager guys friday Two more days. Tough, tough friendlies. Benfica, Sevilla, Dortmund, Ajax. We hope for for the fans to uh, come and see us and pay for those tickets so we can uh, fix our finances a little bit. Top opponents are going to help uh, a lot, guys, when we start the season. I'm going to get uh, used to playing at a higher, higher level. So we need the tactics to be familiar with the players. At least to get to a, to a 90%, if not 100%. This guy is good, man. This guy is really good. Patricio Chavez. Yeah. But we don't have money. He's so tall. He's a target, man. Chile. Yep. No caps yet for the national team. Monterrey. It's for scout.
Okay, we have this kid signed a new contract. Now I'm gonna do the training schedules for the whole season. gonna take me a few minutes It's been a year now, but still it feels like yesterday. First day of snowfall takes me right back to that day. I feel you near when I close my eyes. Sometimes alone at night I cry. I cry because I miss you, and I never got to say goodbye. To never forget I took it for granted Something as easy as a phone call mm -hmm. Life was so beautiful I didn't see it but I had it all Now I'm putting flowers on your grave My heart is too wounded to be saved Keep going where I can find all right, done. I'm gonna give faces later on. Uh, I mean, next next stream, all players will have faces. I don't have the patience now to uh, to give faces to uh, to the players we promoted from the uh, second team. Let me change this music because it uh, kind of pisses me off. Uh,
I'll be right back, guys. Just one second. Apologize. So yeah guys, I'm gonna finish the stream after this game. It's a slow stream. And we'll come back on Friday. We're gonna play more football manager on Friday. I will um try to see how the players are moving against Benfica and then we'll call it a day. sure why my OBS is connecting and disconnecting this must be again issues with my internet sometimes it does that connecting and reconnecting So Atletico Madrid of course signed Dimitrovic. We didn't have enough money to get him. Alright. Game time. I'm gonna check the training levels for the first time this season. We have new players that joined the club so when you have to put them on additional trainings also
All right, let's check the additional now. Shallow put on ball control. Gezana, no. Nare, no. Break it down. Lacoste crossing. Pixel endurance. Walter Perez, no. Lion, no. Herman shooting. Agboton, Casado, no, at link, attacking movement. Peter Brown, defensive positioning. Ronaldo, no, Mehic, endurance. Ogun, defensive positioning. Salvador, strength. Sonsen. Shadrin Endurance Aliu Ball Control and Zaba Quickness Carlos Abad Shooting and Kaufrias Ability in the Air Where is it? No, you're gonna be a left back, brother. All right, game time. Let's finish this and uh, we'll end the stream, guys. We need to learn the tactic every player needs to learn the tactic again get re-familiarized with the way we try to play also we have new players that we're trying to uh, blend into the team and we chose a very tough opponent because we need to get ready for the new season Razvan Lucescu ha! Romanian coach Razvan Lucescu at Benfica nice We are expecting a loss, of course, but we're not going to give up so easy. We're going to try to give him a, a hard time. And we're playing in front of the fans. Mehic, man, he's so tall. Herman, come on, brother. Throw some skills here. Vieira in the box and blocked. Black shot. Benfica is putting pressure. Another block shot. Not too many fans to be honest. I was expecting a full stadium. But it's understandable. It's summer. A lot of uh, people are enjoying their vacation. Easy. Don't. Don't trip. Pixel. Not it. Mehic. Passing to Ronaldo. Ronaldo for Herman. Herman. Pixel. Ah. So close for a goal here. Herman is having a good day so far. Pixel 6.5. I mean we're not doing bad we're not doing bad that's all i can say so far not a fm lion on the right i'm gonna try to cross nope turning aliu pixel 
Go! <laughs> One nothing for Bordeaux in front of their own fans. We're beating Benfica, guys. Let's watch. FM Lion passing here to Aliu and Aliu assisting Pixel. Nice turn there. Nice. The very first goal. Yes, best Murf. I'm surprised, man. We're playing a tough team here. And we're doing great. Look at that Pixel with a beautiful turn. I guess he's enjoying that new position. One nothing. 26 minutes. Let's see this corner kick in Gezana. All right, good steal there by Becky Tom. Come on, boys. Becky Tom with the cross. Mehic. Ah. Throw in Ronaldo Herman. Very good player, man. This guy is immediately enjoying playing for us with a 7 rating already. Herman, block shot again. Very active. Explosive uh, inside forward. So fast. And very agile, too. Corner kick again in Gezana. Luis Alberto tries to get away. Nessie and Gezana here. Oh, bad, bad finish. We're not doing bad. Ronaldo 6.5, but other than that, every player is uh, having a decent rating. For the first game of the season, definitely I'm liking what I'm seeing. Nice, Nare, with the <laughs> two nothing. Beautiful soccer here. Oh my God, we are we are beating Benfica. If you can believe it. Oh my God, dude. Nare passing to Ngezana. Ngezana one touch pass from Lion here to Nare and from the cross with a header, Herman. Jeez. What a play! I I agree, Bessmurf. Man, we are uh, we are putting a ton of pressure here on the. Uh, I guess they're 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 the champions or, oh my God, yeah they can't they can't cope with the pressure here. Benfica is having a ton of problems here. They're they're trying to survive actually the pressure. Let's continue. Ah, uh, okay, good, good. I thought it's a one-on-one -on -one chance. With the goalie, Sansan, safe hands. Becky Tom, man, I'm very surprised that we are actually winning. <laughs> and Herman, what a quality player we signed, guys. Look at this guy right here. Herman again, and penalty? No? All right, we're good. And Gezana. Back to uh, Herman. Herman. Oh man, it would have been too much, right? Three nothing at halftime. It would have been too much. <laughs> but as you can see, guys, we're starting to improve. We're starting to slowly improve. Man, again, they cannot cope, guys. Look at this, Herman again in the box. Herman. <laughs> I uh, I really like what I'm seeing. For the first time, I can say uh, we uh, improved by a lot. If if we can do this to Benfica, guys. Oh, <laughs> pixel with three nothing. Ah, you son of a gun. The referee cancelled it. Oh my god. He was he was offside though. But look at that. Oh my god. 
Come on, let's not allow a goal here. Good, good. Yeah, they canceled it. Ah. Come on, boys. Ronaldo. He is the captain. Ronaldo turning. Passing to Becky Tom. Becky Tom to Aliu. Aliu to Mehic. Mehic. Pixel. Ah. God. We are ready for the new season, guys. Definitely, we are ready. <laughs> First 40, 45 minutes here, but... I like what I'm seeing. Come on, come on. Yes. What a steal from Mungezana. Pressure. Pressure. Herman on the left. Oh my god. Don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> could have been 5 nothing easy, guys. It could have been 5 nothing at halftime. Easy. Jesus. Brilliant. Brilliant gameplay. Let's see second half. Amazing best Murph. Amazing first half, man. Unbelievable. Come on, let's not ruin what we did first half by allowing goal here. Come on, yes. Lion is trying to steal the ball. Stevanovic. Oh, and offside. All right, good. Hey, Pixel, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Let's go, Bordeaux. Yeah, man. You scored against Benfica in this very first friendly of the season. You are our new striker now. You're not an inside forward anymore. You are a new striker. Pixel, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, Pixel! Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. In style, 3 nothing against Benfica. We are destroying the Portuguese champions, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful champagne soccer here. Champagne football. Pixel with a second of the game. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. No offside. Let's not even go there. No chance of an offside. Yeah, Pixel, do your picks, man, because uh, we're betting later. Day number six in our betting league. Come on. 50 minutes. Now I want to play the Dortmund game, too. Maybe this is just a fluke, guys. <laughs> Maybe this game is just a fluke. Can we do this? Can we do this thing to Dortmund too? Can we beat up Dortmund like we did Benfica? <laughs> Stevanovic and uh, first big chance for uh, Benfica. My God, this is a strong start. If we can play like this during the season, it's just amazing. Yeah, well, we're gonna try. Yeah, uh, what time is it? 12. Yeah, I think we can play Dortmund. We can do Dortmund too. D Ronaldo on the left. Oh. <laughs> okay, Pixel. We'll be here. Yeah, we'll do Dortmund too. I'm, I'm curious now. It, it's like I'm very, very curious if this is just a fluke or we can we can beat uh, Dortmund too. If we can beat Dortmund too, then it is definitely confirmed we are a powerhouse here, guys. In in such a short period of time, we improved the squad so, so much. Come on, come on, come on. Stop him. Stop him. We are starting to become a powerhouse, guys. 
Le Gigondin de Bordeaux. These friendlies are very useful. Like I said a million times before for the uh, preparation of the new season, for the tactics. Look at Pixel hunting for his hat trick here. Oh my god, what a performance by Pixel. So, right now we are so fast on the wings, it, it's crazy. Herman is an explosive, explo explosive inside forward with Pixel, very fast striker, too. We need to work a little bit on his finishing, but other than that, I'm good. I'm good with the team that we have. Come on. Follow, follow him. Stevanovic on the left. And another wasted opportunity from the Portuguese uh, team. Can we score one more? Can we embarrass Benfica? at Matmut Atlantic. Let's see. Nare. Lion. Aliu. Ooh, easy now. Man, and our defense is playing great. We 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 don't leave them any any inch on the field there. I like the pressure. Come on, jump. Good. Ronaldo. <clears throat> to be honest, when uh, when I started the game, I uh, thought we we're gonna lose, but I wanted to lose in a good way, you know, just to uh, give them a good fight, you know. <laughs> After the first ten minutes, I changed my mind when I saw how the squad is putting pressure. They're so loose. They're not scared, they're not afraid. Usually when you play uh, big teams, you know, pressure is starting to uh, to show. Especially on the young kids, you know. Let's see Salvador here. Lion. He's gonna try to cross? No, that was a pass. Low pass. They're trying to come back. They might score a goal, because they are putting more pressure than the first half, definitely. And wow, some sand. <laughs> Good job. Ngezana free kick. Ngezana over the bar. It's normal, you know, when you have 3 nothing advantage to kind of like uh, stop putting pressure. It's normal. But I'm happy. If the score will stay like this, yeah, I'm really, really happy. Uh, let's do a few changes before, uh, I mean, after this corner, I'm going to make some subs. But very, very good, very good game. Come on. Yes, Son Son. Okay, let me put some, um, some backups on, uh, let's see who. Okay, let's change Ronaldo with Coffrier. Um, blah, blah, blah. Shadrin with Pixel. No, because I want Pixel to score his hat-trick, so I'm not going to change him. Hatling for Aliu. Uh, Walter Perez for Ngezana, because he is tired. Man, we don't have a backup for FM Lion. Wow. We're in trouble, man. We are in deep, deep trouble. Can Herman do it? Yeah, he can do it. He can play winger too. Good. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. Let's do Lacoste here on the right. Peter Brown for Becky Tom. And that's it for now. Yeah, we don't have backups. On the right, very concerning, very concerning. Ronaldo.
Ronaldo. Herman, what a player we got on our hands, guys. Another Norwegian. We have three Norwegians. If we would have kept Batsmurf, we would have four. And which media us five Norwegians in our in our club. <laughs> A Norwegian army. Aliu. Um. Yeah, yeah, Batsmurf. I'm gonna try my best to get you guys back with Le Girondin minutes here five more minutes from uh bordeaux versus benfica three nothing unexpected and oh and one nothing for benfica one nothing <laughs> one goal for benfica uh they got one back but it's okay he's still here he's still here pixel he's on the right playing as a winger we're gonna play him as a winger this season Corner kick for Benfica. Let's get it back. Come on, boys. Acevedo. Come on, stop him. Stop him. Good. Blocked. Lacos jumping, huddling, clearance. Can we do a counter here? No, we can't. Yeah. Yeah, Pixel, Bessmurf and Schmilios are not in the team anymore. We couldn't afford them. Maybe, maybe next season. Who knows? Chukweze. Man, what a team Benfica has. Sammy Chukweze. Salvador Perez. Passing to Herman again. Herman. Come on, pass, pass. Man, he's so fast. Very good control of the ball, too. Calfrie with the cross. Nobody. Few more seconds, and uh, the game will be over. Big win for Girondin de Bordeaux in the first friendly of the season and baby come back <laughs> yeah we'll try pixel we'll try to get him back but because of our financial situation we couldn't afford him i am impressed what a what a win i wasn't expecting to win today <laughs> agreed so yeah guys we will uh we will play one more game, although I really have to go and work out because otherwise I'm gonna be late for the for the betting stream. But I will uh, play the Dortmund. I'll try to move fast through the days. Oh, it, next is Sevilla, I think. Oh, okay, so next is Sevilla, guys. Alright, we'll do Sevilla then. And Dortmund is gonna be... Uh, the third friendly, actually. No, I had some issues with my... Uh, with my OBS pixel. It kept disconnecting and connecting again. That's why it shows... More than one stream on my profile there. It's the same stream, but separated in three parts or four. I don't know how many times it got disconnected. Yeah, uh, Batsmurf uh, was on loan for the whole season, last season. And then when we tried to, uh, to get him, to buy him, he asked for too much money. We couldn't afford to pay him the salary, so... If uh, if we wanted to loan him again for the next season, uh, his team, uh, Lillestrom, didn't agree. They wanted to give him um, 
a chance in the first squad so yeah it didn't work out basically we have to wait until we have money so we can buy both uh Shmilios and best Murph. it's not over guys we will keep trying we will keep trying somehow we will manage to get him back they're both uh very promising promising players they um they helped us a lot last season so definitely we need to we need to get him back If we can do the same thing that we did um, to Benfica with Sevilla, guys, that's uh, that's gonna be a very very interesting season for us because we are gonna hunt for top six now. Top six is the target. Come on, move fast, fast, come on. I hope I'm gonna be on time guys for the for the betting stream. Because I need to write down all the all the bets and all that. That's gonna take me at least 20 30 minutes. So yesterday I won all my pre-bets. Cleaned house yesterday. Four and all. Huge win yesterday. Yeah, thank you, Best Murph. Yeah, I was lucky yesterday. Everything went my way. That's why that's the rule in betting. Don't uh, don't be too sad when you lose, but don't be too happy when you win. You know, just try to stay balanced. You know, just it's just one day. Live to fight another day. Tilting is not in on our menu, guys. You can have bad days, but there's always. Another day where you can put more bets and you might win everything back, so. Yeah. Yeah, Best Murph. Go ahead, man. Uh, That strategy, the pre-bet strategy, is the best, man. Four bets per day. Have a bankroll there. Bet only 1% of your bankroll. And slowly, in time, your uh, your money will increase. That's the only way you can make money out of the uh, the sports books. The only way. Live betting is uh, is not gonna over the long run is not gonna be profitable. So right now the way we are betting uh yes i mean you can do one bet but you can also in that bet you can do like for example manchester city to win and both team to score kind of like that so you kind of have two bets in one bet but not parlay like don't do that you know don't do parlay Yeah, that's that's you can you cannot do parlay pixel. Just straight bet, you know. Parlay it means two bets. You know, in uh, on the same ticket. That's parlay.
actually two or more because you can do even 12 on the same ticket which is crazy <laughs> bad builder <laughs> yeah but that's the recipe for bankruptcy <laughs> Basmer. You win one day and then you lose 19 days in a row. That's a uh, parlay for you. Even if you know how to bet it, Best Smurf, I know what you're saying. Even if you know how to bet it, it's still a losing way of betting. That's why all the professional sports better are not doing this. This is just for amateur, just for like, you know, for recreational betting, just for fun. You use uh, the uh, whatever odds you are seeing right now, Pixel. Okay, whatever odds they give you now, you use it. Yeah, do it. Two hundred. It is what it is. You know, what can you do? It's a different uh, sports book, so that's why it doesn't matter for for me or you know for the for the tournament. We just need uh, the picks. That's the most important, you know. We cannot control what other sports books are giving, you know. So yeah. The odds are always going to be probably always going to be different between these sports books. European sports books and our sports books in uh, the US here. Yeah, it's okay, you know, it's all right. I don't feel confident in any of the bets, but I, you know, this is the best uh, bets that I come up with, you know. Yeah, we're, we're trying every single betting day to kind of like have different bets, but it's okay. Sometimes you can't, you know, sometimes you have to, uh, like today, we have only two quality games. So sometimes it's okay if we have same, same bets, you know. Yeah, bad smurf. Good job, man. This is this is the mentality. You're gonna crush it today. We need to uh, to hunt down Schmilios. He's the first. Alright, four more days. Come on, game. I got stuff to do. Imagine, like, how much data is, uh, s is stored into this save right now. In thir like, this is the 12th season, so my computer is uh, not processing too fast. All this uh, information. We are heading in the right direction uh, with uh, 
Gironda and the Bordeaux guys were looking good. Thirteen July two thousand thirty three. Bessmer, uh, like I said, <laughs> it's not me saying these things. It's the professionals. So every time when you play parlay, you give your you pretty much give away your money to the sports books. It's like you hand hand your money to the sports book. You give away your hard-earned money don't do that don't do that you might win one day and then you lose 20 days in a row you make a huge loss when you can also you can play single bets and you can actually have a better chance to win parlays are just the worst kind of way to bet the worst there's no way of winning parlays. There's no way of winning in the long run. No way. And like I said, this is not me. This is professional sports better who tested this strategy. They tested all strategies. The only one that's working is have a set number of bets, three bets per day, have a bankroll, and play safe one percent of your bankroll that's all otherwise you cannot beat the sports book over the long run no matter how you turn it around no matter how you twist it no matter how you think of it you cannot you can't parlays are garbage man that's why the sports books are they want you to play parlays they give you so many offers like oh Play this parlay here, like three game parlay, two games, it doesn't matter. I don't want you to waste your money. That's why I'm, I keep telling you this. Stop betting like that. Stop giving your money to the sports books, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want you to have fun, right? But having fun sometimes uh, is expensive because you lose your money. So, you know, you do whatever you want, you know, don't, don't, don't uh, think I'm trying to be the smart guy here. But this is tested, this is uh, information that I got from... You know, like really, really good um, sources. So, yeah. So, if you want to make money, sports betting, uh, try to have a bankroll. I don't know, like $100, $200, whatever you can afford. And that bet 1% every day. Four, five bets the most, you know. That's it. Simple.
It took me six months to build my bankroll to where I am right now. So out of six months, I lost only one month. So five profitable, five months with profit, one month I lost money. So I tested it. So it's it's working. It's working. There's that guy that I uh, told you, uh, Frank from uh, Line Maker Sports. He has uh, tons of video about this uh, this stuff that I'm telling you right now. If you wanna, when you whenever you have time, if you wanna check out his channel, he has short videos, very informational, very good information you're gonna find there, and you're gonna understand everything. He's he's telling you exactly what you have to do. He has that back tracker if you want to track your bets. You see, you've seen it? Okay. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Braga, Sonsen. No, man. Reject. And let me give Sonsen a new contract, can we? Good, he wants a new star player. Good. 690 will give you a 780. All right, to uh, 100. All right, we gave Sunsen a new contract. We're going to lock him up for the new season. I have a um, bad smurf. I have a friend playing with me in the same team, my soccer team. <clears throat> and that guy is playing only parlays. And that guy is losing a lot of money playing parlays. Uh, every time he's, he's, uh, he's telling me, when we meet, he's telling me, oh man, uh, I won $1,200 yesterday with this parlay. But every time when I'm telling him, oh yeah, show me. Show me your uh, your bets, all your bets. He always just shows me the ones that he won. He never shows me the one that he lost. So yeah, you win twelve hundred dollars, but you probably lost five thousand. <laughs> oh, so, you know, don't be that guy. Just keep your money safe, play smart. It's fun. It's fun to bet, uh, to to bet, uh, you know, parlay. It's it's fun. It's exciting, adrenaline, you know. But you're losing. You're losing. It's it's tested. You're losing. Why would you do that to your to your uh, to your money to your pocket? You just pretty much help the sports books. And the funny thing is always you lose the parlay uh, always it's by one game you win everything but one game is not going your way <laughs> that's always the case you you think in your mind man i was so close one by one but yeah you lost It doesn't matter for them. It's ruthless too, you know, because like they don't care about your feelings. They don't, they, they don't care about your financial situation. They don't give a shit, you know. So when you place those parlays, you just give them your money. Here you go. They don't need your money. They're rich, man. They're like, they make billions out of, out of us, you know. And I told that guy from my team, I told him, okay, uh, keep winning, keep winning every single day. Stop telling me how much you won in one day. Just tell me how much you won at the end of the month and then we're talking, you know.
and uh, oh, oh, guys, Newcastle offered job interview. Oops, Newcastle. Oh my God, they're why they chose me though. Newcastle Premier League Premier League Damn Mudrik they have Mudrik the Zam oh So tempting though so tempting my god <laughs> Liel Abada, wow. What a team. Matkum. Oh my god, look at this guy, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, 182 current ability. Jamil Adebambo. Wow. Elite. Newcastle United. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see last season where they finished. Stages. Why I can't see last season. Oh yeah, I can't see it now. Exactly. Bad Smurf. There you go. That guy was insane, I know, right? So they finished second. They are playing Champions League, though. I'm oh my god, and they finished 81 points. Oh, they almost won the league. Newcastle United. Oh my god, this is so tempting, dude. This is so tempting. <laughs> What should we do, guys? It's your call. I want you to, to vote. Vote, guys. What should we do here? They want me. They're so rich, not even funny. Let's see, 961 million. Oh my God. Antonio Silva. <laughs> yeah, we started, we started um, a job here in France, guys. Although it's very tempting to go and uh, win the Champions League with Newcastle United. We need to be faithful to Girondin de Bordeaux because they were the only ones who uh, gave us a chance when we left uh, from Petrosciani. So we need to be faithful. So we're going to decline. It would have been fun. It would have been very, very fun. But we have a job to do here. We are not traitors. The only team that I'm going to join is Jules Petrosciani. If that job will be available, other than that, we're gonna stick to Bordeaux until the end, guys. Yeah, the only team is Jules. Why did you decline your castle? Because...
I'm, I have no interest in leaving my job here and I'm very happy. There you go. You have your answer. And uh, I hope the uh, Girondin de Bordeaux chairman will be happy with, uh, with what I did here. So he can give me more money. We can build a dynasty here, guys. We can build a club that will win the Champions League. We just need a little time. We have a big stadium. We are playing in top five leagues in the world, in Europe. We have all the recipe. It's a perfect recipe for a successful save. We just need time, that's all. We are on the right track. It's easy to go to a big club and you win immediately, you win everything. You, f you don't feel like you worked for it, you know? That's why uh, as soon as Gilles Petrosian job is available, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and finish the job there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanna continue with Bordeaux, man, like... And even if Gilles job is available, you know... If there's a chance we might have another glitch in one or two seasons, so, you know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But um, I guess if that's going to happen again, if I go back to Gilles and we have another glitch in uh, one or two seasons, then uh, definitely I will never ever go back to uh, to Gilles Petrosciani in this save. It means it's uh, something is wrong with that league and we have to let it go. But yeah, we will try. We'll try. We'll go back if if they're gonna fire somehow their coach at any time um, in the future. We will apply for the job. Definitely, I have a big chance of uh, of getting the job because I'm a legend of the club. And yeah, we'll try to we'll try to rebuild. That will be awesome. That will be awesome. <laughs> and we still have time. We still have time to win the Champions League with Gilles because the FM24 will come out in November. So we have um, six months. About six months. Yeah. More than six months. Seven months. Yeah. I think we have enough time to, to rebuild that club. I just want them to uh, to give me the job, to offer me the job. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll use the same tactic, you better believe, Basmer. This tactic is great. And uh, finally, game time. As soon as we finish this game, guys, I'm gonna end the stream because I need to really quick go to the gym and then... Uh, start uh, writing down our picks for today for the betting league it was a long enough stream for us we kind of advanced a little bit getting closer to the new season it will be fantastic if i can uh, get a Jules job back man i'll be so happy it means you know, whatever we built is not in vain. Although we don't have the players anymore, we can bring new players. We can continue continue the road. At least we built a good financial uh, financial uh, situation there. They have uh, they have a decent enough uh, amount of money in the bank. The club is worth over a hundred million, so we have resources. <laughs> Thank you, Bessmurf. Thank you so much, man. I just want to uh, pick a club that, you know, you guys are going to enjoy watching too, you know. Because, I mean, it's fun to to pick a small club, but it, it matters, especially it matters to me, to me if I have something that... Um, I, I have something invested in that club, you know. If I like the badge, if I like the colors... 
if Jiu is my uh, home city club, so that's a plus, you know. Your brand, for example, you it's your home city club. So I like to, to find a save that is going to make me excited. So yeah. That's why we're going to continue the road here in France. As we remember, when we signed the contract with Girondin de Bordeaux, they were just promoted, a new promoted team in uh, in Ligue 1. Very bad financials. Uh, old, old, old players. The mood in the squad was very poor. So we had to change that. Historic club in France, guys. They are... Uh, six titles they have six titles won in france in the french first division uh, zinedine zidane was one of their legendary players in the past i will play some of my wonder kids this season if it goes bad so be <laughs> it's not gonna go bad man not gonna go bad you're gonna win the league again now it it matters what uh what you're gonna do in champions you know in champions league all right boys last game of the stream let's check the training levels i hope everyone is ready charlie ingezana always he he has the best rating in a training we have a decent squad becky tom maybe in the winter break our chairman is gonna make more uh, more money available i hope so and then we can hunt bad smurf deal we can go and get schmilios too these are the targets right now for uh for the winter definitely we need uh, bad smurf on the right and schmilios in the in our defense no other deals would be made before we are signing these two players guys All right, let's check for the additional. It feels good that big teams are wanting me. It feels good, to be honest. But I'll be the happiest coach alive when I'm going to see that job available at Giu. Oh my god. I will leave any team just to go back. And finish that uh, dream of a job to win the Champions League with you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start exactly how we, um, how we started with Benfica. We need this starting 11 to be um, blended with the squad, uh, with the squad, with the tactic. We're seeing here it's not yet 100%. Uh, it's normal because we played only one friendly. By the time we start the season, definitely it's going to go close to being full here. Striker Pixel. Pixel is our starting striker, guys, for the new season. Definitely. We moved him from the left. He is not an inside forward. He's a natural striker now. We're going to work on his finishing. Right now we uh, uh, we gave him some extra training uh, for his endurance because we are in uh, the preseason. Mehic played very good. Uh, uh, let me let me check. Mehic. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, six seventy, six seventy. So I mean, not bad, but not great. <laughs> that was his uh, first uh, game rating. 
This is the new Shadow Striker replacing Dumisani Daniels, guys. High potential, high, very high potential for this guy. Also very high potential for my boy Herman here. He's a beast. 18 agility, 17 pace. So what means, what it means, guys, 18 agility, it means that this guy is so smooth in movement and so explosive with his uh, pace that he's going to create a lot of uh, trouble to uh, the defenses. He's going to get so many penalties in our favors because in our favor because uh, he's going to get fouled a lot due to his um due, due to his pace, you know. And first touch really really good like whenever this guy is not going to lose the ball. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He's a very very skillful player. Uh who is on penalties? On penalties, let's see. Uh let's see. Actually, good idea. Let me let me do everything here because well I didn't set up the set pieces. So Nzaba corners. Let's do Nzaba. Uh Gezan, I guess. I have poor poor numbers here for the for the corners. Um and Mehic as a desperate pick all right let's see free kicks we got mehic with 12 and gezana 11 hotling and herman as a last resort pick long throws ronaldo on the left golfries and on the right we don't have anybody, so whatever. It doesn't matter, to, to be honest. Let's see penalties. Yeah. Well, penalties, we have only Shadrin. Aliu, 9. Wow. Not good, bro. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> we are horrible with this, with penalties. Only Shadrin and Aliu. And Gezana, 3rd. Mehic 8. So you can imagine we're not good. Pixel is really bad with penalties, only 4. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's see how the players are going to perform against one of the best teams in Spain. Sevilla. Again, in front of our own fans at Madmut Atlantic. Let's repeat the beating that we gave to uh, to Benfica. Let's go, guys. Last game of the stream. Becky Tam, Salvador, passing to Ngezana, Ngezana for Mehic in the box, putting pressure there from the start, Aliu, Mehic, Mehic, ooh, very close, very close guys, Daniel Mehic, Becky Tam with a yellow already, Salvador, our new Lisandro Martinez, guys, very short central defender, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, pixel, it was there, but too short for, uh, for a header, Nare, in the box, Herman, oh, yeah, we're putting pressure, we're putting pressure, a lot of pressure on Sevilla too, guys, Becky Tom is not having a good game. Mehic with the free kick. 
and a little over the bar probably at halftime I'm gonna change Becky Tom with Brown we're gonna give him some playing time too he deserves it come on yes Mehich we steal the ball back and we're trying to build from uh, from scratch here let's see FM lion he's gonna we're gonna give him number seven to to the lion I'm gonna change his number Aliu Ngezana Mehic Mehic another another shot over the bar 15 minutes in we are dominating Sevilla Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, steal the ball. Yes, there you go. The lion, we stole it. Pixel with his speed, pass it. Lion, good pass to Mehic. Oh, offside. They say offside. Was it though? But great, great chance for Bordeaux. Nare, nare. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Karneseki almost let that one in. Boy, what a chance. Ngezana. Come on, FM Lion back to Ngezana. Lion in the box. Passing to Salvador. Salvador. Ronaldo. Aliu. Ah, oh, yes. Go. <laughs> Golazzo Pixel again Pixel is on fire guys and he cannot stop scoring he cannot stop scoring guys <laughs> Aliu with his vision what a pass oh my god what a pass how did he see Pixel going there my god look at that again Pixel Again, like a snake biting again. Sevilla's defense collapsing. <laughs> Pixel to score minus 1,000. Exactly. Exactly, Pixel. one nothing. We're beating Sevilla too, guys. Is this real? Is this real? Ngezana. Lion. Mehic. Oh, again, Mehic. Jesus Christ. We're beating teams that are currently playing in Champions League, guys. Wow. Can we hold this pressure? Can we hold? Come on. Let's not let them get back in the game. Yes, Pixel. Yes, I like the pressing there. He's very fast, Pixel. Very fast, very agile. Come on. Nare. Good. Good steal. We're getting it back. Ronaldo, don't waste it. Don't waste it. Good pass to Herman. Herman for Pixel. Pixel with the speed. Very promising start of the season for Pixel. Come on. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He's very fast. He's going to cross. He's going to cross for Pixel. Oh, and still us. Herman. Oh my god, dude. They cannot breathe. Sevilla cannot breathe here. Oh my god. Look at the pressing we're, we're putting. Oh my Gezana with a steal. Steal us. 
36 minutes. Sevilla had nothing. Aliu. Lion. Come on, come on, boy. Salvador. Lion. Nare. Nare on the right. And blocked. Blocked cross here. They get it back for now. Come on, make a mistake. Yes. Ngezana. My god, he's... He's a beast, man. Mendieta switches on the right to corner. Come on, guys. We did so good so far. Piet for uh, post. Post for Sevilla. First big chance for the Spanish uh, powerhouse. Herman. Counter attack. Mehic in the box. Uh, yellow card. Okay, I think it was a. I don't know what was that, but probably Mehic needs to be sub. Tom needs to be sub too. Half time. Gezana with the yellow card. What a first half. We are holding the result at half time. One nothing, guys. All right. So let's see here. What can we do? Uh, can Pixel play behind a striker? No, he can't. Can Lion play behind a striker? Yes, he can. All right. Hmm. Oh, Hotling. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna move. Um, we're gonna move Ingezana there. Ingezana and Hotling or Mehic. Aliu is doing fine for now. Um, 6.30 for Becky Tom, so I'm going to put Brown in. Let's try, let's try a second half. Let's see how, um, wait, no pep talk? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Very good. All right, let's move on. Let's hope for another good display here. Less 45 minutes before we're done with the stream. Let's see our Australian central defender, how he's going to move. Very tall, very tall central defender. Lion trying to find Pixel. We are expecting now a lot of pressure from Sevilla. They want to come back. They don't like uh, with the score. Reggie Gakpo is in Sevilla. <laughs> really? I didn't see that. Nice. So they have a great team. Ronaldo. Pass into Herman. Herman in the box. Herman in the box. Herman. Oh, post. Oh, my God. This guy is insane. Wow. Herman 6.5. But, man... Come on, boys. One more. Gezana with the cross or a pass. Pass for a lion. Nare. For Aliu. Aliu. And Karneseki saves it. Lion, Hatling, Hatling, powerful shot, but over the bar, come on guys, 6-4 Salvador, we need to take care of that guy too, I guess, man, my back hurts, and 1-1, one, one. Let's see who made a mistake here. Hatling. That was Hatling. 
All right, let's uh, take Salvador out. He's having a rough, rough game. Also, Brown is not doing good. He he just got in. Hmm. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit. There's not uh, good enough players on the bench to <laughs> to get in. Need to wait. Come on, let's uh, let's get that W. Salvador trying to find FM Lion. Nare. Again, Sevilla gets the ball back. We're stealing it back. Very confusing gameplay there. Can we win this game? Two one for Sevilla. Our central defenders collapsed here. Yeah, Salvador is having a horrible, horrible game. Who the hell am I going to put in? Yes, Olgun. And Herman 6.4, but we don't have... Ah. We don't have good enough players, guys. Let's do Ronaldo for Herman. Let's do Kafriere. Ronaldo as a winger. Uh, yeah, and that's it for now. Let's try this. Come on, let's... Uh Let's try to at least tie the game. I'm going to overload. Very attacking now. Yes, Kafrié. It doesn't matter what's happening. Ngezana. Pixel Lion. Come on, boys. 20 minutes left. Let's get that W. We dominated Sevilla. And Gezana with the corner. Ronaldo. Nare. Hatling. Lion. Pixel, Lion, what happened? Oh, come on. We're still putting pressure here in Gezana. Nare. Hatling. Gezana. Pixel, uh, he was offside. Let me put Perez in post. We'll take um, we'll take Aliu out and Perez will get in. Charlo for uh, no. Nare yeah Nare out and we'll put Lacoste in. 
Chadrin for Pixel. Chadrin needs to play too. Benjamin Favreau. Let me see here. Casado for Sonsin. Everybody needs to play, guys. All right. Probably gonna lose this game, but overall it's not that bad. I mean, we dominated. Definitely the first half was ours. In the end, uh, their quality was too much for our defense. This is where we have to improve. Pixel, yeah, we are lucky. <laughs> and another wasted opportunity here. Corner kick. It was a good test. We still have Dortmund. We still have Ajax. So, more tough games to come, guys. That's going to be uh, Friday. If I don't play in the meantime on my own. So, we'll see. Maybe Friday we're going to start the season, you know. We're going to get right into it. Uh oh, steal. Steal. Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. Ah, not fast enough. Gezana. Can we get a lucky penalty or something? Man, some balls for Perez. That's a dangerous tackle in the box there. <laughs> Thank you, Pixel. So three goals for Pixel in two games against big, big teams. So four minutes of extra time. Do we have time to tie this game? We can definitely try. Come on, boys. One more chance. Everybody's super tired and Gazana and Ronaldo are exhausted. No, not FM? <laughs> okay. Alright, so full time, guys. We lost against Sevilla. It was a very, very good game. Especially in the first half. So we don't have to be sorry. We don't have to be mad. We don't have to be upset. The XG was in our favor, 22 shots to 11 for us, 6 on target to 3. Yeah, the domination, the possession was uh, theirs, 52. Passes completed, mm, very close, but uh, they uh, had more passes completed. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. Overall, not bad, not bad. Also, uh, we would have hoped for a tie, but it's just a friendly, guys. We're just starting the season here. I'm proud of your efforts. And with that being said, guys, uh, this is the end of the stream. I have to uh, end it here. Otherwise, I'm going to be late for the betting, betting stream. Thank you, Pixel. Thank you, Bessmurf. Milios, Dan. Thank you guys for uh, joining the Football Manager stream today, 14 March 2023. Yeah, guys, I'll see you later at uh, 2.30 p.m. Central Time, day 6 of our betting league. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go do some uh, quick uh, workout. Oh, you're going to help me with getting it ready? Oh, that would be great, Pixel. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.
Take it. 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 Take it.